Hello students. After the failure of Dobreiner's triads, another system of classification came into being. But before studying that, look at this image. What does it remind you of? Yes, it is the octave of music. What do you mean by octave? Octave is derived from the Latin word octavus, which means eighth. In music, an octave means an interval between one musical pitch and the other with approximately double its frequency. So look at the first note here. Sa has a frequency of 240 and the last note ni has approximately double the frequency of 450 hertz. Isn't it? Yes. Thus they all form seven melodies in the music. And the eighth note will be sa again, that is, it will be repeated. And hence, we can say that it forms an octave where the eighth note is same as the first note. In simple words, in octave, the eighth element repeats itself where it is the same as that of the first. This is true for musical notes in Western music as well. Like Indian octave, in Western octave also, there are eight musical notes. You can see this in the table that frequency of the last note is double that of the first note even in Western octave. This is quite clear from here that the frequency of the first note Do is 261 hertz, which increases as we go down to Re, Mi, Fa, So and so on till the last note whose frequency is 493 hertz, which is approximately double that of the first one. Thus we can say that octave is group of melodies where last frequency doubles and the eighth note repeats as that of the first note. The same analogy was present in the attempt of classification that was done by Newland. In 1866, John Newland, an English scientist, arranged the elements in ascending order or increasing order based on their atomic mass. He made a table like this. Now if you compare this to our modern periodic table, we find quite a similarity. He started with the element hydrogen which has the lowest atomic mass and he went on to arrange 56 elements known at that time like this. He arranged hydrogen, lithium, beryllium, boron and so on till oxygen as per the increasing order of their atomic weight. But after that he broke the line and placed sodium below lithium instead of ahead of oxygen. This is because he observed that both sodium and lithium had similar properties. Similarly, he placed magnesium below the beryllium as they had similar properties and the pattern continued till calcium under magnesium. So he arranged all the elements up to the 56th element thorium in the ascending order based on their atomic mass. Newland noted that the eighth element from the lithium, which is sodium, has the same properties. Also, the properties of magnesium, the eighth element after beryllium, are similar. And thus he placed it below it. Thus he generalized that the properties of eighth element after every seventh element are similar to the first element. Newland compared this law to the octaves of music and he called the law as law of octaves. Today we know this principle as Newland's octave rule. He was the first scientist to arrange the elements like this in ascending order of their atomic mass. But later on this rule was rejected. Now can you think of any reasons for this? When he presented this table in front of the scientific community, a lot of people mocked at him. In his table, things fell in place only till calcium. After that, they ran imperfect. 
His table specifically, only one third of the table was perfect. Rest two third of his table was not that similar or not perfect. The first one was that Newland's classification was true only up to calcium and not for the elements after that. For example, if we take case of sodium, potassium and copper, they are placed in one group, which means they have a kind of similar properties. But it's not true. If we take a look at their reaction with water, we find that sodium and potassium reacts vigorously with water, while copper does not. It reacts mildly. So kind of they do not have similar properties and thus cannot be placed together. As more elements were added, Newland's octet rule proved to be wrong. Another drawback was that he grouped some dissimilar elements together in the same slot, like the position of hydrogen. It is placed along with fluorine and chlorine, and this was not justified based on their chemical properties. Iron, which has properties similar to cobalt and nickel, has been separated from these elements. Similarly, he placed cobalt and nickel in the same slot as that of the fluorine, chlorine and bromine. To fit elements in the table despite having dissimilar properties. Note that here fluorine, chlorine and bromine are non-metals while nickel and cobalt are metals. But still all of them are placed together. So due to all these limitations Newland's law of octaves was rejected. Even after the rejection, many scientists continued to search for a pattern that correlated the properties of elements with their atomic masses. But not to forget that indeed Newland's attempt was hit in a right direction. It just laid the foundation for another scientist, Mendeleev, who attempted classifying elements based on their atomic masses. We will see his contributions in our next video.